So after a huge hit with Daredevil a few months ago, Marvel has rolled out their next Netflix show, Jessica Jones. All 13 episodes dropped at the same time two weeks ago, so that's why it's taken me this long to getting around to reviewing it. And since it's taken this long, spoiler alert. If you haven't watched Jessica Jones, go out, watch it, and then come back here. That being said, let's jump right into this. Pilates. you right here and right now. So in case you don't know, Jessica Jones is a bit of a darker character from the Marvel Universe. She's had some pretty messed up stuff happen to her. She can also fly, she has super strength, she's an alcoholic, and that's pretty much all I knew about her. So I went into this as someone who isn't a huge fan of the character, and in the end, I ended up loving it. First off, the cast is amazing. Jane from Breaking Bad is perfect as Jessica Jones. Sometimes she's kind of a jerk, and she does do some, let's just say, questionable things, but ultimately, you still really like her. Another performance that really stood out to me was Mike Coulter's Luke Cage. He's extremely likable and a good choice for the character, and I'm now really looking forward to his own show. Sweet Christmas. Everyone else is pretty good. Jessica's friend, that annoying boss lady, and that guy who looks like the child of Zachary Quinto and Will Arnett. All of them are great, but the best performance I would say on the entire show is David Tennant as Kilgrave, the villain. And although I really like the Kingpin and Loki, he might be the best MCU villain we've seen so far. He's just so interesting, and he's completely unique. He doesn't just want to kill the hero or destroy the world for no reason. He was tortured as a child, and he's actually in love with the hero. And that whole aspect was just new and interesting. Physically and personality-wise, I wasn't super threatened by him, he was just kind of a Weasley British guy, but his power of mind control was absolutely terrifying. And he says stuff so casually that you almost forget how evil what he's doing really is. Like he'll tell someone to cut their own heart out. <laughs> And then you realize that they actually have to do it now. The weird thing about Kilgrave, and I think this really comes down to the performance, is that in some parts, you almost feel sorry for him. Until you remember he's a terrible, murderous psychopath. Now, the show on the whole is extremely dark. Like Daredevil, but taken even further. There's lots of violence and profanity and dark themes and style, but that totally works for these Netflix shows. They want to show a different, much smaller, and more grounded corner of the MCU. Death and sadness and disturbing imagery. So this just really isn't for little kids who love the Marvel movies. This is made for a more mature audience. I also should say, there are quite a few sex scenes in this, but they're pretty tastefully done for the most part, and unlike other shows, you don't ever see anything that explicit. A lot of stuff is implied, but I didn't find it too graphic. Now, the action in this is fantastic. There isn't a ton of it, and I don't think it's as awesome as the stuff we saw in Daredevil, but still, it was really well done. Jessica's powers are also shown well, and any special effects that are used look great. The finale was also excellent. We got a tie into Daredevil with Rosario Dawson's character. It wasn't too much of an in-your-face kind of reference. It flowed well with the story. Also, while we're on this finale, Jessica finally ending Kilgrave was pretty badass. Not gonna lie. Smile. The only problems I have with the show are, one, it takes a tiny bit of time to get into it, really it starts to get awesome when Kilgrave becomes more of a major character, and two, some subplots aren't that interesting. Don't get me wrong, none of them were terrible, but when we've got this amazing back and forth with Jessica and Kilgrave, I got a bit frustrated when they cut back to the whole Jerry and Wendy divorce case, but still, it didn't ruin the show or anything. So overall, Jessica Jones was phenomenal. Needless to say, you should definitely check this out. It's extremely entertaining, it has a fantastic villain, and it's really dark, and I'm giving Jessica Jones a 9.5 out of 10. So those were my thoughts on Jessica Jones. What did you think of it? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video, check out my Instagram at bhl underscore Hudson, and subscribe for more videos like the one you just watched. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.